Hi everybody, this is D. Hope you're having a great day. It is Monday the 3rd of June 2024 and I do have another message to, to give to you. It's clarification on the three harvests. Kind of like a gold nugget and another gold nugget for you. It's regarding all kinds of believers and there's really two distinct main uh, categories. Either you're in this group or you're in the other group. Uh, the third group are the ones that get um, trounced upon by the Lord. It's the uh, the, the uh, threat, the thrashing. Um, these ones he couldn't do anything with and they never repented. So unless the, the third group repents, they're just going to go into the lake of fire. So here's the first two groups. Even though there are, you know, many that are going to be saved in the great tribulation, I'm talking about the difference between the bride and his second group. So I bow my head and heart and say, Abba Yah, let the words of my mouth and meditations of my heart be acceptable in your sight as I deliver this message and let the Holy Spirit just have his way. Thank you. Thank you for paying attention, everybody. Thank you for joining me and welcome to all new subscribers. This is something that will be really helpful in case you yourself are scratching your head saying, Jing, I wonder which category I'm in, really. There is the the bride, the remnant army, who are the first fruits. I don't care how you look at it, they, they are the first fruits. I was saved 16 and a half years ago. I consider myself to be a first fruit. Um, I'm not in the churchianity group that just goes to church once a week and that's it. Uh, lukewarm for the Lord, that's not me. I've had this channel um, since 2019, really, so... Um, and I've made uh, over 350 uh, videos, not bragging, just letting you know that I've been working hard for the Lord. Thank you out there for being there, everybody. But uh, I'm going to go into now categories. So the first one is the first fruits. They live a crucified life, that, but they display a glorious one. Uh, they, come, um, they come to save souls through examples. Okay, They are his first fruits. They have proved to be leaders. They're proven leaders, reached maturity with him. They're not of this world, and they act accordingly. They are misfits, loners, outcasts. The world hates these. Is that you? Because it's definitely me. Separated, they're set apart. They are holy. Set apart means holy for the work of the Lord. The overcomers, that's this group here, sensitive to the Holy Spirit, breath of Yah. These don't see themselves as righteous, okay? Um, because they know their hearts are wicked better than most, and they'll be willing to just say to themselves, I can't be righteous. Am I righteous? Am I really righteous? Etc. But they repent daily. They will rebuke every, every spirit. They always are rebuking. They, they do not engage in ungodly activities. Um, they don't watch ungodly activities on TV or movies um, or listen to them. Their journey is one in isolation in the wilderness. This is the group. So if you've made your checklist and if you said, yep, that's me, yep, that's me, yep, that's me, then you're in this group, no question, hands down. Okay, that's the bride, the remnant army. Some are debating if the 144,000 is the same as the bride. This is what this says, according to Julie Wedby's word from the Lord in 2020. I'm just going over it. So the second group, now they're saying these are harvested in Israel, uh, or he said these are harvested in Israel, happens around Shavuot. This is the wheat harvest. They are represented by the church, not the true church, the ones who are in churchianity. These are not fully prepared to meet the Lord. So just take a step back and take a deep breath and just say, is that me? Do I only go to church once? Do I do anything for the Lord? If you're not doing anything for the Lord, except watching the videos of others, <laughs> then guess what category you might be found in? You have to be actively doing things for the Lord because you love him and you want to prove, uh, prove these things to him. Um, their lamps are not fully full of oil. Uh, they love him. But they're not yet, uh, they're saved, uh, but they're not, uh, they're saved from eternal damnation, but they're really not fully um, convicted. They're not fully on fire for him, okay? They're not on fire for him. Um, they require a, a greater thrashing uh, by trials uh, to get spiritually ready. So they're going to be left behind. These are the left behind. Okay, so I'm not 
out here to insult anybody. I just ask you to take a uh, take a checklist to all these uh, categories that are traits, okay? Put yourself in the appropriate one and then work on the ones if you have to work on it. If you if you come out to be not caring and not on fire for the Lord, you're in the category of the left behind. I'm just saying this out of love, okay? Uh, these need a greater purification according to the Lord. Their hearts are not fully committed and they're not 100% obedient. These three harvests coincide with the seven feasts in Israel that spiritually represent three groups of people from Pesach, the first one, Passover, Shavuot, the second harvest, Pentecost, Shavuot, and the third one is Sukkot. Okay, so finishing up here, the last page is uh, the third group. This is a really, um, I'll just read it. This is, the, this is the grape harvest. These must be trodden down underfoot and crushed. They will receive the most harshest form of judgment. These are the whoremongers, sexually immoral, murderers. These are liars, sorcerers. They will have their part in the lake of fire and brimstone. This is the second death. They'll be a part of that. That last group here, uh, because they won't conform to God and his ways. They won't follow Jesus um, so they're going to get their punishment, lake of fire, if they don't repent. Um, if there's some intercessors out there that are praying for them, there might be a chance. Um, I've been praying for many for years that I know that still haven't come around. So it's whoever the Lord knows in their hearts would conform. And that's a, kind of like a mystery with God. So I'm going to read the last part here. So the overcomer is this group here, his bride, represented by Passover. The Feast of Pesach, they're transformed first. Uh, it's the barley group. Hope you're taking notes, guys, but not if you don't want to take it from my, you know, messy handwriting, I don't blame you. Please wait for the transcripts. The main body of the church will not develop the needed maturity until later, so they have to go through the Great Tribulation, in other words. His Holy Spirit will blow over them first, the first group, and the chaff, which is the sin, is immediately exposed and repented, allowing them maturity. These shall receive the crown of life. This is the second uh, group, the wheat harvest, which is the church, harvested in Israel. That's what I wrote down, and it happens at around Shavuot. And the third group is the, uh, the grape harvest, and these get trodden down underfoot. So uh, that's basically uh, the word here. I hope that you... Uh, you know, got a lot out of that because, um, you know, you can do that checklist and, and just check and see yourself, are you, which category that you're in. Um, so a lot has happened, everybody, since 2020 when Julie Wedby got this message. But the same things, everything, nothing has changed. These are all the categories and, uh, I mean, these are all the trademarks of those who are of his first fruits. You want to be in this category. There's no question hands down because the second category gets left behind. So it's that time now where the 144,000 are going to be all, you know, preparing for all this. And I have another video coming up. Um, it's going to be a short, another nugget that's short on what I found out yesterday. Also, I got like an anointing yesterday. I got revelation. It's just a quite a huge revelation I got. So I'll be sharing that with you guys soon, too. Um, I've got some things to do today. I have to accomplish them, and then I'll come back to this. Thank you so much, guys. Blessings in Him. Take it to the Lord. Always take everything to the Lord. Amen.